So we'll multiply these two, uh, but we've got to multiply each term with all of the other terms, all right? So some people like to say FOIL, which is first, outer, inner, last. Um, I, like to, I just like to use rainbows on these, which is what I've been doing. So for example, I would distribute this Y into the other parentheses. And then also I would distribute the five into the other parentheses, okay? I don't know, if maybe I, I could use different colors on that. Let's, let's try that. First, I'm going to do this first one here at the top. What? No, let me start that over, all right? All right, so the first rainbow would be this one, y times 3y, which really is just 3 times y times y, which is 3y squared. All right, the next one is y times, that, that would be considered a negative 2, or you could just say you're going to minus it, whatever. So whichever you prefer, we got a negative 2 times y, which would just result in a negative 2y. I guess I can put it here, what the heck. Negative 2y. And then I distribute the 5, right? So I've got a 5 times 3y, so plus 5 times 3y which would be a positive 15y. And then the final rainbow, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So this would be plus 5 times negative 2, which would be negative 10. And that's just going to result in negative 10, because it has no other like terms to combine it with. But we do have this negative 2y plus 15y. Those are like terms with the y. So negative 2 plus 15 is a positive 13. And this is already in descending order. And it looks good. It feels good. So we're good.